Over the last several years, we have seen a disgusting push from the mainstream sports media and from woke sports leagues and organizations across the entire globe to allow biological men to compete with real biological women. It's disgusting, it's degenerate, and it's destroying women's sports as we know it. And some women are speaking out about this. We've talked a lot about Riley Gaines, other swimmers like her who spoke out about Leah Thomas. Well, sometimes it takes people that are in the media, men that have competed at the highest levels to say, you know what? This is not okay. And Marcellus Wiley, who used to work for ESPN and who used to work for Fox Sports, is no longer connected to them. He's doing his own thing with the Dan Patrick Network, I believe. He is now more than willing to speak out and talk about how disgusting and degenerate it is for transgender men to compete with real biological women. Ex-Buffalo Bill star Marcellus Wiley has issues with biological men competing against females. And uh, here's the OutKick coverage. Marcellus Wiley won't allow his daughters to compete against transgender women. I'm very clear on this. Let's watch because he put this out on social media. Again, maybe he's able to be this forceful now because he's not connected to these woke mainstream so sources anymore. But listen to how strong of a stance he takes about this. I have no issue with transgenders. I do have an issue with athletes who are transgender trying to participate, going from a transition of a man to a woman and now playing with the women. And I will say that. Y'all can try and Dave Chappelle me all y'all want. I am very clear on this. You could be a transgender. You could be the homie. But I'll be damned if a male at birth turns into a female and tries to compete against my daughters. She ain't out there. We, we, we out. Don't make this a human rights issue. This is a biological issue. Thank you. This perfectly encapsulates nearly everyone's problem. Listen, a lot of people have lifestyles that people don't agree with. People might not agree with uh, someone's gay, homosexual lifestyle. People might not agree with your transgender lifestyle. That's one thing. But when you're talking about an, an inherent biological advantage by pretending that you are a female... When in reality, you're a man, you grew up as a man, you develop muscles as a man, your heart is as large as a man, pumps blood like a man, you have the skeletal structure, the bone structure, the muscle building of a man, you should not be competing with women. You certainly shouldn't be allowing your daughters out there to compete with these freaks. Simple as that. Trust me, I am a man. And then I'm like, why can't the dudes who transition to women actually empower women and compete against the men? Since you so damn bad, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if I were me, Marcellus, and then tomorrow I'm Martha, I change up my gender, I'm now a woman. You know what I would try to do? Compete against the dudes. Why? Because that's empowering. Oh, you don't want to do that? Why? Why? Hello? Anybody? Because it's easier, damn it. <laughs> Flojo, what's the world record in the, in the 100? 10-4-9, 10-4-8? What's it in, in, in 100 for men? 9 5 eight? A damn second almost? Man, y'all better stop playing. And why use objective numbers? Because it's pretty easy to digest. I hate saying fair, but it's just not even right. Forget fair. It's not right. I have no... I love that. And so many people love that too. Now, he is going to be a target for cancellation now. There's no doubt he painted a target on his back coming out and saying these things. He's already responding to some people in the comments. Don't regurgitate hate. There's so few transgendered athletes that it's not even an issue. Uh, one competing against my daughter is enough. That's what he says right here. So obviously that's probably what triggered him into actually talking about this. Thank you for speaking up right there. You disgust me. Someone says so, and then prayer hands with a heart. That's how Marcellus Wiley responds. Oh, look, now the playbook's being ran now. It's the transgender discussion. Call me shocked. Jason Whitlock is so proud of you. <laughs> of course. Uh, Jason Whitlock's pretty successful in his own right. Marcellus Wiley, now that he's out from under the woke mainstream media, maybe feels very much empowered to say things like this. I love it. I love hearing this from Marcellus Wiley because it's the truth. Everybody knows it. Everybody understands that this is the reality, that men are not the same as women. Just because you decide, you wake up one day, you think your pronouns are different, you want to dress different, even if you want to cut something off, that doesn't make you a fucking woman and you shouldn't be competing with women. I love this from Marcellus Wiley. No doubt he's going to face a lot of pushback for this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.